In a few days and you're in a craze get out of that haze because the end man says it's time to enter the maze what is up youtube i am nintendo man 64 bringing you the next episode of super smash brothers brawl subspace story mode last time we entered subspace only to find out that everyone is a puppet to everyone except for an evil demon thing thing named taboo who is prepared to suck all of nintendo land whatever into the darkness, so now all good forces of good, evil, and what have you, must team up and wage great war against Taboo and the forces of evil. And, just to have the forces of evil be coincidental, we will be fighting with the forces of evil, our three new characters that we unlocked in the last episode. Ganondorf! Bowser and Wario being the specific ones. The only few we haven't played as yet. Now Ganondorf is a little tricky to use. He is sort of a clone of Captain Falcon, but at the same time more of a power-based clone of Captain Falcon. Same as he was in Melee. Not really much else to say about that. If you're not good with power characters, you're probably not going to be good with Ganondorf. You notice that when I entered this door to battle Petey Piranha, who is the first opponent you face, and ironically the first major boss you face, you come across the door of, with Black Aura on it. The Black Aura door indicates that there's an enemy behind there that you have to battle. And in order to come get to the final level, you have to take out every single door with Black Aura on it. Simple as that. The white of the or the door with the yellow insignia on it is a safe zone. There are multiple safe zones in Smash Land, whatever it be called, and from there you can select characters. You don't. So you can select, reselect characters, restock lives, save, what have you. But the objective of the Great Maze is to navigate its entirety, take out all opponents, and open the gates to fight Taboo. Because you cannot get to Taboo unless you've conquered all of the characters. Which includes all of the reskins of all the characters on your roster. And all eight boss fights, including PD Piranha. Well, wait, is there eight boss fights in this? I think it's seven. Hold on, let me think. PD Piranha, Rayquaza, Porky, Galleon, Duan, Ridley, and Meta. Yeah, so it is the uh, seven bosses because you haven't fought the eighth yet. He's the final boss. Man, and Pit just does not want to die. Then again, I do kind of suck with Ganondorf, which is ironic because of how good I am with Captain Falcon, but... Whatever. This is a group of slow people anyway. I figured I'd get the slow people out of the way first. Ganondorf, Bowser, Wario, and Snake. Also, showing them off and how they are as fighters is also... part of the deal, too. I will say, though, I do prefer this style of Ganondorf to, uh, the one they used in Melee. The one they used in Melee was way too polygonal, and reminded me way too much of Ocarina of Time. I mean, obviously, that was the most popular Zelda game, and there was... I think Majora's Mask came out afterwards, but Ocarina of Time was the more popular of them. And it was his Ocarina of Time getup, and not any other game, because they wouldn't have another getup for Ganon. Unless you want to use... Pig Ganon, and we all remember Pig Ganon, and how that didn't work, or worked, if depending on your point of view. And down goes Ganon. That was quick. All right, Bowser, show him why you're the real bad guy of Nintendo Land. Bowser is all about raw power. 
If you're not good with raw power, you are not going to be good with Bowser. Simple as that. I do think it's weird that Bowser's own minions are turning against him, like the Goombas and the Koopa Troopas, as you'll see. I do think it's weird that they're just, they just decide, eh, we don't want to fight with you. We're, 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 we're opposed to you. Oh my god. This Goomba is kicking my ass. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, Wario, you're up. Wario is a weird fighter in this game. In, in, some, in the right hands, Wario is one of the most lethal weapons this game has to offer. In the wrong hands, he's completely useless. And I know you might be thinking I'm joking when I say he's completely useless. No. I mean, most of Wario's abilities are, as Wario is himself, weird. So, if you're not used to it, you'll probably not do well with him. Right, what do we got? Oh, Link. Cool. Don't remember Link being in Sky World, but okay. Technically, maybe this was a maybe this was a preamble to Skyward Sword. Who knows? But while I'm on the subject of Skyward Sword and Zelda and all that stuff, I do want to make a couple of updates. I am slightly altering the ske the upcoming Let's Play schedule. Basically, what I am gonna do is I'm still gonna confirm my next three Let's Plays. But I'm going to be, for the most part, I am sticking to my original formula where I'm going to be like, I am definitely going to use it, play a Zelda game within my next three Let's Plays is going to be my first Zelda Let's Play. And I have made my decision of what game that's going to be. As I take a look at it, the map and show you just how big this place is. It's not called the Great Maze for nothing. Go down, take out a Greep. Wario's gonna die. Makes no sense that I should. Ow, 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 ow. Unnecessary. Oh my god. I suck so much with Wario in this game. Oh well. But yeah, the maze is like huge. So if you're thinking, oh, this is gonna be quick. Yeah, this, this, the Great Maze might take me four or five episodes to complete! Fuck you, Kirby. Leaving me a fucking, even fucking snake to do all the dirty work. Oh, well, that works for me. Anyway, as I was saying, I am slightly altering the, which, what Let's Plays are coming up. Now, I remember I had said in my 1400 subscriber video that the let's play I had chosen for 29 might bug a few people and that was because it was going to be a remake of a let's play that I have already uh, the let's play of a video game that I had already played and before you say it no it was not uh, it was not like another Kingdom Hearts game no it wasn't Pokemon related it was actually going to be Super Mario 64 DS. Now, the reason it was going to be Super Mario 64 DS was because a I, I a at the at the point when I was sure of what was going on, El Gato was sort of still a pipe dream. I still I have it now, obviously, so it's not anything to seriously worry about, but still. As I try to get some other characters screen time. But haven't had too much in this Let's Play. Like Olamon and Moth. Um, the reason I chose to cancel it is because now that I have Elgato, just in case something goes horribly wrong, Hopog would be... That would be great to do with Hopog. And as a contingency plan. And as of right now, I don't need any contingency plans. I can go right into the Let's Plays that I want to work on for projects that, oh, for, for series or whatever that I don't have video, uh, Let's Plays of yet, 
that I could give myself more time to work on. If that means anything to you, if you guys understood that rambling. Because, to be honest, even I was blanking throughout half of it. Um, in essence, I've cancelled Super Mario 64. There will be a different project for number 29. I think you guys will like what I've selected. <clears throat> because it's a project that I have teased about on the channel for a little while. I had wanted to do collaborative efforts with it, but those aren't going anywhere as of right now, and I need a slightly quick project to branch me between Super Smash Bros. and number 30, which, in case you guys haven't figured out yet, is 100% going to be Raging Blast. Now, I don't really have to talk much about Raging Blast here, as Snake dies, uh, mostly because I can have the, I'll have all of that Let's Play to talk about it. But again, we're very far from completing Smash, because even though we beat, we'll beat Subspace very soon, we've still got Adventure Mode in Melee, we've still got, we still gotta go through Melee, we still have to go through N60, we gotta go through the original Smash Bros, and then we gotta go through Wii U. So basically what's gonna happen is there's gonna be about seven or eight episodes left of Brawl, five of which are dedicated to, five or six of which are dedicated to subspace, then the rest, more, we're gonna have one where I either cover classic mode or all-star mode or, I'm not gonna cover events because as much as I'd like to cover events, there are way too many in the games and I'm not resetting all my data for uh, Wii U because then I would lose all my DLCs and I'm not freaking downloading Cloud, Ryu, and all that jazz again. And I'm not going through all the uh, events in Melee again because that last one always me keeps me occupied for like six hours. Now I'm sure you guys like me being that miserable, but the fact that you can, the fact that I've only ever beaten that mission, if you'd call it that. Uh, the, the event, the mission mode or event match or whatever it would be with uh, Jigglypuff shows you just how bad I am with with that mission. But anyway, we still got a boatload of stuff to do for Smash. I have at least two episodes with the N64 to shoot. Uh, about three for Melee. Uh, about seven or eight, as I said, for Brawl and then two or three for Wii U, depending on how much content I want to fill in. Because, as you've noticed, most of this has been, most of this Let's Play has been Brawl. And, like I said at the beginning, that's what it was mostly going to be. And there goes Game & Watch. Okay. Well, we're at a disadvantage. But now at least I can talk about my new Wait, what? Okay. Let's get back in the door. And now, let's... Wait, what? What? Are, are you kidding me? I can't go through that door now? What? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, is this for real? Okay, okay. I'll take that. Thank you, Marth. Thank you, Marth. For once, you've done something nice for me. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, hopefully we don't have any more door problems. Oh, wow. Nice. Guess I just have to drop a bit and then use an up, up B move. Of course, fucking that up would leave me with fucking Olimar, but whatever. Anyway, that leaves me with enough time to talk about uh, 31, which is going to be my Zelda project, and I have decided, actually, no, you know what, Zelda is going to be my 32, I don't want to have multiple, like, long projects back to back to back, unless there's, unless I have, like, literally no choice, so basically, I forgot, I had forgotten I had 
I had talked about this to myself during those crazy silent moments at work. You know, you all have them. Don't pretend you don't. Um, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna do short, long, short, long. So, the Let's Play following Smash is gonna be a relatively short one. But again, I think you guys will be happy with the game I've selected. And then, uh, number 30 is gonna be Raging Blast, which is gonna be a very long, let's, not a super long Let's Play, but maybe like between 30s and 40s for episodes, because we've gotta cover the Saiyan Saga, the Frieza Saga, the Android Saga, Boo Saga, and then the two special sagas, Bardock and uh, the legendary Super Saiyan. And then you gotta cover the what if store scenarios, and then you gotta cover. I wanna cover a world martial arts tournament or two, depending on how much time we have. And then, depending on whether or not I can actually find the damn game, we might. Oh, not this crap again! Oh god, how the frick am I gonna do this now? Oh wow, that was easier than I thought. Don't you dare kill my Pikmin, you fuck! Stupid goddamn... All of them goddamn shell pods. Uh, but yes, Raging Blast is gonna be a relatively long Let's Play before I get off track again! God damn it! And then number 31 is gonna be a short, another short one. But it is going to be another Nintendo product, but it's not going to be Pokemon or Mario related. So, for anyone thinking that it was going to be Poke Park, even though I had said I was going to probably going to be Poke Park, obviously the contingency plans are no longer in major need and in, in major necessity for the channel now that we have Elgato back. Um, but. But yes, number 32 is going to be my Zelda project. I'm keeping the short projects sort of as a surprise. One, both of these projects, I will say, the short ones, I have teased a lot on my channel. And the only reason I'm... And the only reason things have really changed is because now I can actually play them. Or, and not just, and A, not just a shitty version of one, and B, I can actually play the other one because it's a GameCube only game. I will give you a hint though. Number 29, my Let's Play that's gonna follow Smash, is not going to be on a Nintendo system. It's going to be on my PlayStation 2. So already you're intrigued. You don't know what I've selected yet. Otherwise, you do, and then you've been stalking me. Oh, great, Diddy Kong. Oh, this is gonna end well. This is so gonna end well. I will say thank you for giving me the purple and the white Pikmin. They are the, they are the most powerful. Of course, it doesn't help when I'm fighting an o OP fuck like Diddy Kong. It'll be, it could be worse, though. It could be when I battle fucking Meta Knight. Oh, you killed my Pikmin, you bastard! Oh, great. He's red now. If I was Chugga... If I was Chugga Conroy, I'd be like, Oh, no! It's Steve! And I don't even get why he feels, like, so bad about that. Everybody has that joke and that one thing that they're not proud of. I mean, I myself lost all man credibility when I caught Heatran in a nest ball in Pokemon Platinum. I'm also the same guy who, you know, has said many, 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 many stupid things in his lifetime as a Let's Player, including but not limited to Aphrodoto and the Hoenn Whores. Hoenn Whores being my most recent fuck-up. At least that you've seen at this point. You don't know what I've recorded. Or I don't know, even know what's been uploaded since this. I might have uploaded a random game 
thing where I say something stupid. Why does this cat want to meow only when I'm recording? Pain in my ass. Okay, let's head down now. <coughs> God damn allergies. Kicking in early all the goddamn time. I cannot stand them. Now, the reason I'm heading down is if you look at the map, I don't think I draw it up here, but if you look at the map, this is a dead end where I'm going, so... In essence, it leads to nothing. It'll lead to a few characters, and that's it. Okay, bye, Olimar. You're up, Penguin Man. Yeah, Captain Falcon! Captain Falcon does not appreciate being turned into darkness. <sighs> Why do these cats want to annoy me now? Why do you want to annoy me now? No, don't run away now. Now you get to sit and hang out with Uncle Mike. Stay. Stay. No. Stay. Now, you're going to stay with me. Now stay there, tiger. We're going to watch this together. Because you want to annoy me. I don't care. You're, you're a pest. And because of this, I'm losing my focus, and Luigi is my one of my last lines of defense because of you. Yeah. I hope you realize that, you fucker. <laughs> oh my god, Luigi's bitch slapping might be the greatest thing this game has ever had. Oh, sucker! I know the timing of the Falcon Punch. A little too well for my own liking. What did I say? Zip it, mister. You want to annoy me? This is what happens. Seriously, tiger, knock it off. Oh, fine, get out. And don't come back, you bastard. Annoying animal. Never have these problems with a dog. Because a dog would at least sit there and be nice and courteous. Not a goddamn savage like these stupid animals are. I don't even know what they're whining about. They got fed. Because their mother doesn't give a shit about them. It's all about, Ooh, I need my extra sleep because I have such a stressful job. Uh, I work at a place I don't like. Welcome to the real world. Wow, I am very bitter today. I apologize in advance for my bitterness. And all of them are right, yep. Don't get why the Gourmet Race theme is playing here. I guess they didn't have any battle themes for Pikmin that you could use. Just saying, some of the themes they pick for battles in the Great Maze are, are, are odd, I'll say that. <clears throat> A lot of people have the, sa have the same or similar themes. Goodbye, Luigi. And now it is up to the Ice Climbers! But some of the themes they pick are, are weird, I will say that. Ah, but whatever. It's time to kill Olimar. And if he, if he desperately needs to have the Gourmet Race theme play, then I'm not gonna stop him. But the ice climbers might. 
you know, if they can hit. There we go. You two make a great team. Too bad when Nana dies, you're useless, Popo. Just saying. I wish there was like an automatic like teleporter button where you could just teleport to the next area so you wouldn't have to keep going through all these stupid enemies all over again like the stupid like the stupid pelican things that are like oh we're just gonna come down like spears and stab you I think you mean impale Alright, good. So now we don't have to worry about anything on the bottom floor. Go away. Not interested. Because we gotta end this episode soon. We got a long way to go. And I don't want to have a full hour episode dedicated to just... Ow! Just the Great Maze. If it even takes that long. And there goes Nana. Oh, well, you're on your own, Popo. Or ow! Oh my god, you're really gonna die here? That's what I thought. You can't die here by yourself, Popo. It's just ridiculous. Alright, we're back at the safe zone, so I will see you guys next episode. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm the Tenement64. Join me next time when we progress into the next part of the great maze because trust me we are just dipping our toes we got a long way to go until then sayonara